welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, in this channel, I just usually share some of the things that I used to change my lifestyle in the past several years by building a healthy routine, by going to the gym, and by reading books. Occasionally, I share some of the things that happen in my life. Happy New Year! It's 2022 officially, and today I just want to share some of the books that I really enjoy in 2021. I hope you can. Like it too. So 2021 has passed super quickly. Sometimes I feel like 2021 is a little bit isolated, but luckily I have been using this time to just read more books and allow the books to take me to travel throughout time and also to learn about different topics. Without knowing it, I have read a lot of books. I have read 37 of them. And full disclosure, not all of them are super thick, difficult to read books, but the average is around 300 pages. I'm very happy about my progress. And today I just want to talk to you about 10 books that I like the most in 2021. If you're looking for ideas of books to read, it might be fit into your reading list for 2022 as well. So today we are going to talk about these books from the most practical ones all the way to the more relaxing ones. Let's dive right into it. So the first one on the list is The Alignment Problem by Brian Christian. As the book cover suggests, it's a book about machine learning and human values. It's a fascinating book. Not only does it talk about stochastic gradient descent to self-driving cars from biased database to reinforcement learning, but it has so many interviews and discussions and research about the topics. The more and more people are talking about in this day and age with machine learning, it's a huge topic these days. It is a book that you can peek into this industry and really learn more about it and also what's our value functions as human beings and what is should be distilled into the machine it's i think with time passed by maybe the society need to think about this more often and deeply into how we can use machine learning to really help us as a society it's a good book second one on the list is the basics of bitcoin and blockchain by anthony lewis it is like a textbook, it's like a one-on-one book if you, like me, didn't know that much about Bitcoin blockchain or cryptocurrency but really wanted to get to the basics about what it is, how it started, what's the true value of this. So it starts from the basic concept of what is money and what is the history of money in from thousands of years ago to now. The author himself starts his career in the financing industry, in banks. He switched gear to crypto and he really offers this cool-headed view about currently super heated topic about blockchain and bitcoins so it's fun and easy to read it's easier than i think i hope you like it too the quote at the beginning of this book fairly summarized this book it says that the journey starts with what is bitcoin but the explanation and answers come from the disciplines of economics law computer science finance silver society history geopolitics and more next on the list is the psychology of money i've talked about this book in the the video the link is here you can just click on it and read more about it i think it changed a lot of my understanding about money and how i should look at it i think financial success is a soft skill yet we study it as a hard science without any emotion involved especially at school and also at work this book that contains 20 sh short points on the counterintuitive but obvious points about how we should look at money and it's not only just about money if that's a boring topic to you Starting from the basics, the author basically guides us through the true value of money and what is the freedom that we're chasing after by owning more money to it. This quote really gets me. It says that the ability to do what you want, when you want, with who you want, for as long as you want is priceless. It is the highest dividend money pays. So yeah, take a look for 2022. Next one on the list is Full by Randomness. I've already mentioned this. This is my top one book in 2021. If people ask me to only recommend one book, I'd probably just say this one. It is a book written by Nassim Taleb, who is himself a ferocious reader, an option trader, a PhD and MBA. He also has another book called The Black Swan. This book, I thought it would be a full on, you know, just about financial market and how it has been changing and what kind of risks you should manage in financial market, but it's more than that. He writes in the flow so beautifully combines like concepts, stories, and he's sometimes a bit annoying yet well-deserved corkiness. And he delivers this message so well that we are all humans. We can't really fight against the randomness in life and our emotions. And history is just one way that things play out. 
if you read this book, you discover more and more in depth about the randomness in life and how you can really manage it. I think this is about stoicism and behavior economics, black swan and life events. It's really, really a fascinating book to read. Highly recommend it. Next one on the list is The Body Keeps the Score. Mind, Brain and Body in the Transformation of Trauma. It's a book written by Bessel van der Kolk. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he put his 30 years of experience to uh, how trauma is changing people's thinking and how you can deal with it. I think it, it when you hear the word trauma, you almost wanted to avoid it and say that, hey, I am not traumatic about any of the experience. But as the author rightly point out, that we are on the verge of becoming a trauma conscious society. I think it's particularly true after whatever happens in the past several years, like past two years already. Things has not been easy for everyone. But if you read this book, you figure that luckily human beings are extraordinarily resilient. I always remind myself about this. Reading this book really provides me this fresh idea how I should view life events and how I should reflect on my upbringing, how my childhood and how things turn out to be. I think it's a fascinating book to read. It starts from the fundamentals, how each part of our brain works, how does the childhood experience affects us. Of course, all these experiences in life. What different is that trauma impacts someone's life versus a normal life and how the science and focus in this field evolve over time. It's a little bit difficult to read, but it's definitely worth to give it a shot to see how you like it. It might help you in some way to face every day in life. I particularly like this quote, nobody grows up under ideal circumstances as if we even know what ideal circumstances are. My late friend David Servan Schreiber once said, every life is difficult. In its own way. Next book on the list is The Cold Breaker by Walter Isaacson. It's a biography about Jennifer Downer, the, the story about her and the story about how her colleagues and herself to discover this the gene editing technology called CRISPR. It gets a little bit difficult for me to finish it. It's 500 pages. At the end, at least I finished it and I think it's a very fascinating book just even to have a peek into the, the most forefront of the science, technology, and how things have been accomplished in this field. I really, really like the fact that the author has made an effort to emphasize the work Rosalind Franklin did in discovering the structure of DNA and how great it is for Donna to win the Nobel Prize even when her high school teacher thought girls couldn't do science. So it's definitely a very inspiring book to read and a lot of knowledge in it too. Next one on the list is meditation and mindfulness. Just look at the book cover, it's very cute and I think it's certainly a very soothing book to read. Reading this book, it carries some, some type of inner peace, inner energy through the words, but beyond that, it is particularly true when I was reading this. The author who used to be a monk and he developed this awesome application called the Headspace. I think everybody must have already heard of it. That simple design and easy to start a program has attracted like millions of subscribers. It's the same for this book. It's very easy to read. There's no like big phrases or arguments that the, the, the author is trying to put you through. But just by reading it, I sometimes feel like it just naturally calms me down in a way that I'll be able to get on to other tasks in the day. After all, as it's truly pointed out in this book, the mind goes with us wherever we go. So dive into the three stages of meditation. Learn to know what's the real approach and what can be practiced and how to integrate by reading this book. Next book on the list is How I Learned to Understand the World. It's a memoir by Hans Roslin. He is one of my favorite author because I read his book, The Backbonus last year. I had a video, you can watch it here. I finished this book like the same speed as I finished back from this. The author himself really brought his energy into this book alive with the vivid description, fascinating stories from Sweden to Mozambique, from field hospitals to research and to later offer a new way of thinking. And the most fascinating way is that you wouldn't even realize that it is written by the end of his life. It's just a constant way to remind ourselves that we should never give up in our life. There's a quote saying that don't wear yourselves out. You have to stay in one piece, at least for the duration of contract. It's a good read. 
Next one on the list is a recent book that I read, but it's published in 2019. It's a New York Times bestseller. It's called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. It's by a therapist called Laurie Gottlieb. She herself has a TED talk that I love so much. It's called How Changing Your Story Can Change Your Life. I've watched it multiple times, I've listened to it multiple times, but not until I read this book I understand like how her story is actually so fascinating and interesting as well. So it, it is a sort of memoir by her. So it talks about her story and her patient's story. It's about love and death, it's about growth, it's about regrets. It's about how each of us have the freedom to use the free space around us once we look aside from the prison bar that built into for ourselves like we should be the one who free us from our mind and who heal us from within one quote that i really like is if we create the space and put in the time we stumble upon stories that are worth waiting for the ones that define our lives last but not the least is this book around the world in 80 days i've talked about this book in the previous video and it's a classic i don't need to further introduce about this story that in the 19th century basically an Englishman just utilized all the method he can to make a mission of travel the world starting from London finished in 80 days. It's truly truly a fascinating story to read. It, it's one of my favorite of this year and it's a very relaxing read if you just want to travel with the book. Those are my 10 favorite books in 2021 and if you're trying to find some ideas about books that you want to read in 2022 feel free to borrow this list i will put them all in the description and then you can find the links recently i finally finally has started to read by using kindle i think i have just used it for several days now i will maybe later come back with a review about how physical books compare to digital books but so far i found it's just super convenient if you just love reading books whatever you go and whenever you go this is certainly, so far I think, it's worth to give it a try. I'll come back with an update in the future. So let me know what kind of books that you're reading. And hopefully in 2022, we all read more books that bring joy and uh, enlightenment in our lives and keep going forward. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. I'll share a lot more in the future and I will see you next time.